Hello guys. In our new tech episode we'll explore how to create and three amazing parallax effects on PowerPoint. Please subscribe for more updates as we dive into our amazing PowerPoint adventure. Done so. Let's go. First, let's set our layout blank. Next, we insert some pictures. A number of your own choosing. We'll use them for background formatting. Let's move them a little so we can see all of them clearly. See. Next, add some more slides. Cut picture. Paste it in a different slide. Repeat that for the rest of the pictures. For our first type parallax effect. Let's start. On your first slide, cut picture. Right click to format background. Select picture or texture fill. Format from clipboard. Let's insert some shapes. Let's choose this beautiful diamond shape over here. That's nice, nice. Next, let's add a triangle shape. Rotate 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Let's move it to this position. Adjust to fit slide pane. To duplicate, hold Ctrl, Shift and drag to copy shape. Select shapes. Align them well in the slide. Select them once more. Remove outline. Add some transparency in the shapes. Go to fill options. Give them shapes different fills. Nice nice. Now, let's add a rectangle. One that covers our slide pane. Adjust to fit. Adjust transparency. Change shape fill to any color. Center back. Copy. Now let's create new shapes. First select this shape, then our rectangle shape. Go to shape format, merge shapes, intersect shapes. Paste rectangle again. Select next shape. Then the rectangle. Merge shapes. Repeat the process for the rest of the shapes. Done. Now let's animate these shapes. Make sure your animation pane is open. Add line animation. Go to effect options. Change direction to left. Hold shift key. Adjust animation size. Next, use animation painter to copy animation. Paint animation in the next shape. Let's change animation direction to right. Now paint new animation in the rest of the identical shapes. Next. Select all animations. Set them start with previous. Next go to insert. 
text box. Adjust font and font size. Now type in a text of your own choice. Adjust font color. Now let's animate our text. Add a peer animation. Start with previous. In the effect options, animate text by letter. Reduce delay here to 0.2 seconds. Do the same for all text animations. Next. Select all shapes. Remove text box. To shape format, check in fill to slide background fill. Testing animation. Let's paste our rectangle again. Change fill to slide background. And add an exit animation. Disappear. Start with previous. Let's select animation. Move it up here so as to play first. Select the other shape animations. Effect options. Auto reverse animations. Let's test our first parallax effect. There, that's nice. Nice. To our second parallax effect. Cut picture. Right click on slide, go to format background, check in picture or texture. Format from clipboard. Offset top 0%. And bottom by negative 150%. Go to insert. Text box. Add some text. Adjust font and font size. Change text fill. Now, let's move our text here. And make a couple of copies. Change text. Next, duplicate slide. In the new slide, offset bottom by negative 75. Perfect. Let's move this text up here. And this one out here. Next make another duplicate for the third text animation. Offset bottom to 0%. Move text to the slide. Done. Well view animation at the end of this show. Stay tuned. Now to our third way of doing this. We combine method 1 and 2 parallax effects. See how that goes. Let's insert a rectangle.
Rotate a little to make it appear slant. Next our diamond shape. Change fill. Select shapes. Add transparency. Control D to duplicate shapes. Rotate them a little. Change this fill to yellow, and this to green, and this to purple. Now, let's insert another rectangle. Adjust to fit window. Add some transparency. Copy shape. Intersect shapes as we did in our first slides. Adjust shapes a little to fit. Now, let's animate shapes as we did in the first slide. Line animation. Effect to left. Start with previous. Auto reverse animation. Timing. Until the end of slide. Now paint animation in the rest of the shapes. Here effect direction to the right. Add text. Change text fill. Adjust to fit. Add some delay in this shape. And this one too. Next, send text box to back. Let's see how the text appears. Select all shapes. Deselect the text box. Add slide background fill. Deselect shapes. Add a rectangle that covers the slide to the outside. To fill options, slide background fill. Go to animation. Exit animations. 
Disappear. Start with previous. Move animation upwards to make it play first. Let's see. Next. Duplicate slide. Remove the cover rectangle. Change text. Offset bottom negative 50. Duplicate slide. First return cover shape to its original position in this slide. Now in the new slide. Change text. Duplicate slide again. Do the same. Change text fill. Do the same for all slides. In the first slide, offset bottom negative 150%. In the second slide, offset bottom negative 100%. Here negative 50. And the last one at 0%. Now let's animate texts. Appear. Select animations. Start with previous. Effect options. Animate text by letter. Reduce delay between letters to 0.2 seconds. Mac this start after previous or just at a delay. Duration 0.25 seconds. Let's do the same in next slide. And this slide too. Now let's cover our slides back. Last and most important step. Let's add some transitions. In the first slide, let's choose a vortex transition.
in the next one. Let's have a box transition. Now the rest two have to undertake morph transition. Let's introduce our third method using ripple transition. The rest have to undergo morph transitions. Now select all slides. Advance after 2 seconds or on mouse click. Done. Now let's play. Amazing! If you like this video, please, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next.